Hello! Welcome to a video that is going to be themed after the Gilded Age. I have decided to theme this vlog. I thought it would be a fun way for me to dress up, get into an outfit, and go get photos. I always dress in themes. I have since I was a kid. You can make your outfits kind of more of a costume, and that's where I really enjoy clothes and style and dressing myself, how I do my makeup, how I decide to do my hair. But I then got HBO recently because we were going to watch The Last of Us. Suddenly just flooded with all of these amazing new shows and the Gilded Age is in it. Anything period piece I am into. Puffy sleeves and yeah I just I we live don't we? We live. The Gilded Age is an interesting one because it's actually coinciding with the Victorian era basically kind of the middle of the Victorian era so it was going on at the same time a lot of the style fashion was the same a lot of people who had come to America had come from overseas so a lot of their style was Parisian couture if you were rich so you'll see that what I'm talking about looks very similar to Victorian clothing because it was from the 1870s. If you read a fairly recent article from the New York Times, they had actually compared some of what was going on with the Met Gala in 2022 to the Gilded Age because that entire theme of the Met Gala last year was gilded glamour. But again, just go read my blog post. I have that entire quote in here, but I am going to read a little bit of it to you. When Gilded Glamour, the dress code of the 2022 Met Gala was announced, it seemed to be either a recipe for extravagant disaster or irony. After all, the current era has been often compared to the late 19th century Gilded Age, the period between 1870 and 1900 when extreme wealth was concentrated in the hands of the very few. The robber barons came to the fore and income inequality grew even greater just beneath the gold veneer on the glittering surface. I think that that is just so well written. But enough about the Met Gala and the Gilded Age. We're going to talk about my inspiration and what I decided to model my outfit and my hair and my makeup after. One of the wildest things that I discovered in my research is that Vogue magazine came out during the Gilded Age in 1892. And every article that they ever published back in that time is accessible through their archives. So you can go on Vogue's archives and look at what they were saying about clothing and what women should wear and accessories and hair and it was just so exciting. It was all illustrations. I thought they were just so beautiful and this one in particular caught my eye. It is a woman in the most delightful dress with this kind of lacy lapel and she's holding a hand mirror. Her hat is huge. It has these feathers and her sleeves are these big ruffles puff sleeves and then a cinch corseted waist but I'm going to be interpreting this into a modern day outfit so I tried to find something that I thought would kind of look like the style but not so literal because I'm going to be going out. I'm going to be by myself too. I'm going out to get pastries and coffee and then I'm going to hit up a really cool location. So where we're going location wise is also something that is related to this topic because it is a building that started its construction in the Gilded Age. It started in 1891. It's called Stadium High. You guys might have seen this before. It was the high school in 10 Things I Hate About You. I'm going to go there to get photos because of its history of being a part of the same era of what I'm focusing this on. I think it would make a really nice backdrop for my outfit. I just did a hairstyle that is something I was seeing in the show The Gilded Age when I was watching the show the other day. I was taking note of their hair, their makeup, and things that I could draw inspiration from. And all of them had their hairs pulled up tightly around the neckline and here but then it poofed out at the top with all these amazing curls so I slept with my curlers in. I wrapped a satin scarf around it so that it didn't get fuzzy and then I just curled my bangs and I used a lot of hairspray and I think it is perfect for the look. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is what inspired this entire video in all honesty. This was the inspiration for the blog post. And then the blog post turned into inspiration for this vlog. This is an Anna Sui powder poof loose powder holder. I found it because I googled weird makeup. What weird stuff can I have to add to my collection? And this came up when I typed in weird makeup. It comes empty so you can put your own powder in it. You can choose whether you want to use a body powder or a face powder. I opted for face because I already own a body powder. I have the Too Faced Pat Your Puss or Pat the Puss that was released <laughs> from the housewife Erica Jane. I put my loose powder in here. It really applies a lot. So unintentionally I ended up doing a very historically accurate Victorian powdering of my face. I powdered myself to all get out and I feel like it made my skin look really um doll-like. So I'm into it. Am I gonna start powdering the crap out of my face now? Probably. 
Yep, probably. But you know what? Summer's coming, and whenever summer rolls around, that's when your skin goes au natural, and you want to be dewy and look tan. So don't worry. <laughs> She'll be back. <laughs> but for now, we're using the Anna Sui little powder case. I just wanted to show that to you and some of the makeup. I ended up using my Gucci floral lipstick for this and a few other little bits and pieces I have that just reminded me of something that maybe they might love in the Gilded Age. Enough about that. We're going to get going. I'm going to show you my outfit and we're going to hit the vlog portion of this video. Before I show you my outfit, I must explain <laughs> the background of where I'm uh, going to be showing it to you because this is what you're going to see. And this is my husband's handy dandy work. He is putting texture spray back over where we've had to patch the walls from all of the holes that were in it. And then we're going to be doing our second coat. So I'm very excited for the second coat of paint to go up on this side. And then we're also going to be filling in this space here. We also have a painting coming of a very amazing print from an Australian tattoo artist and a bespoke piece of carpenter made art that's going to be hanging up here. I don't want to give too much away because I would rather just show you instead of talk about it. So just know that a little tour and update of the house and the just few little redecoration things that we're doing because we really are just completely overhauling the house. And here we are rotating into the ladder and the paint supplies and my cute outfit. <laughs> so here's what I decided to wear. Do I look like the lady on the cover of Vogue from the 1800s? I think you can see it. I think you can see it in the outfit. Definitely the top. And this skirt I thrifted ages ago and I wear it all the time. I, it's one of those things, it's a staple in my wardrobe. I love it. It has that kind of neoprene stiffness to it and it's just so cute. I get compliments every time I wear it and it matches so many things. I feel like with the pleating and just the structure of the skirt, it can read a little bit of like, you know, 1800s bustle skirt anyone <laughs> and then my hair is pulled up very vintage and yeah I got this sweater from Shein of all places wasn't looking I just looked for Peter Pan collared shirts and this one came up I can't always wear thrift I don't know why every time I wear H&M or Shein or I buy anything brand new I have to explain myself but I think it's because I very much focus on vintage and thrift and so when I go new I feel guilt <laughs> and I need to just stop with that and for my makeup, I kept it pretty simple. So with that said, let's get going. Alrighty, well, the place that we're heading is actually a place called the Karina Bakery and it actually is on Baker Street. How cute is that? Is it though? Where am I going? How many, this is one of those weird streets that splits. So we're going to the Karina Bakery. They apparently have macarons. I definitely am dressed in a way that I think will get a little bit of attention, which is whatever. I'm just going to get a lot of compliments from women. And I, whenever I see somebody dressed cute, I make sure to let them know I see you. And if I don't get them, that's the thing is I always expect them when I'm dressed like this. And when I don't, I'm like, not one person complimented my outfit today. <laughs> okay, let's go get some baked goods. I love your style. Oh, thank you. Ooh, pink champagne. What a lovely group of people working at the Karina Bakery. Everybody there is so friendly and one gal just sat there and talked to me about the school that I'm heading to, the stadium school. She's reminding me that you can find monkey shines uh, in the grounds around there. And monkey shines in Tacoma are a pretty big thing. It is a not-for-profit um, art artist group of glass blowers that make artistic little balls or decorations. And then they hide them throughout the city like a little Easter egg hunt. But I did get the cutest little box of macaroons. And I just wanted to get these to take a cute photo. I got a apple cranberry cinnamon muffin that is massive. And as I was walking in, this lovely person complimented my outfit and I think I got it on camera because I hadn't turned my camera off yet. 
I think that's enough fuel to get me to where I'm going. We are three minutes away from our destination and finish eating my breakfast muffin. <clears throat> and I will see you at Stadium High School. Over there is the historical society that is the place where I got the information for the post that I'm doing so make sure you go take a look at that. They had some really great pictures of this building back in the 1940s. One of the cutest ones was a gardener that had taken care of the grounds for a really long time. He was so cute. He had been holding his prized dahlias and did all of the groundscaping, landscaping of this when it began as a high school. So, so cute. But that building is truly incredible. I bet, because when you're a kid, you don't know what you have or appreciate what you've always known, but I guarantee you, most of those students probably don't understand how cool that is. And it would take an old lady like me to wanna to tell them. Gosh, what I wouldn't give to tell them. Did you know that this school was built in <laughs> <laughs> just like they were probably like yeah yeah lady who cares it's old i wish that i was able to go inside and see the pool i don't know how i can do that i'll have to start asking anybody i know that's from around here if they know how you can get like not a tour necessarily but just like inside to see what the inside of the school looks like i know that you can check in as a guest during operating hours at the office so maybe i could just come in during a school day and just be like i would love to go look at the you know, the historical infrastructure of this building. And then I also want to get in contact with the historical society. So anyway, I am heading home. I'm going to finish up this blog post and go look at my photos. I'll see you when I get there. If anybody wants to know what the theme song of this video is, it is going to be Queen by Perfume Genius. Don't you know you're queen wrapped in gold Whenever I do a themed video and vlog, I'm going to include a song that I have been listening to that has inspired me in some way. It was actually in the credits of The Great, which if you haven't seen The Great, you need to go watch it right now. It is so good. It has Elle Fanning and she is uh, Catherine The Great. And then her husband, who is a complete hornball idiot, is the most genius comic relief in this show. And she and him together are magic. It makes me laugh more than any show has made me laugh in a very, very long time. So I would suggest going to watch The Great. The Great is Catherine the Great who was the golden age. See, I've been learning about all of my ages and my, just like where fashion's from and all of these period piece shows. I wanna know more about them. So I looked up Catherine the Great to see if maybe I wanted to do something this week based on her, cause I've been loving the show so much. Long story short, I decided to go with the Gilded Age instead, but she was the golden age. And so uh, anyway, you should just, just go watch it. But anyway, at the end of that show, this band came on called Perfume Genius and the song's called Queen. And then it made me listen to everything by Perfume Genius. And it's like my new favorite band. So go check it out if you're looking for some new music. Here is my little setup for the Anna Sui powder container. I just wanted to add the macaroons and the crown and kind of give it a little nod to the party that was thrown at the end of the Gilded Age and thought it would be kind of funny to just overindulge, you know what I mean? Well, I'm just on the floor here because I'm about to clean up everything uh, with my little setup here. Just had a taste of macaroon. Holy sweetness. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video. Please go read the blog post if you'd like to know more about all of the links and information, outfit stuff, details, and yeah, 
yeah, all that good stuff. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it below. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you had fun with me. I'll definitely be making more of these. I'm going to brainstorm the next theme because how fun. <laughs> I love making clothes from other eras, current in time. I think it's it's a nice challenge. It gives me something to inspire the outfit. It even inspired the makeup. So it's really cool. I love doing it. I hope you liked to watch. So if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys on my next video, whatever it is. Bye.